I'm moving around all the time, and the first thing that goes is your is your you know your monitoring environment, your sound isolation. Do you hear air conditioning when the when the singer is singing? You know, in each one of those things, you have to gauge what you're losing with what you're gaining. It's much easier for me to overcome my problems in monitoring and my problems with noise pollution inside a recording environment than it is for me to overcome the fact that the artist is uncomfortable because they're not in a room that they enjoy being in um, or that they feel that they're spending too much money or, or any of the things that might be coming up for an artist that makes them incapable of really focusing on what is in front of them which isn't giving their performance so if I can if I can get them to give their performance all the rest of that stuff while not optimum can certainly be overcome well there's always low frequency issues there's something that's just exciting that room you know and it's it, it happens anywhere from you know 30 cycles 20 cycles all the way up to 200 I mean I've been in little rooms that just had a whole bunch of 180 in them um, so it really, it, it really moves around. It just depends on the size of the room that you're in. Until I started monitoring on the JBLs, I would do most of my critical monitoring in environments like that with headphones.